What's going on guys? Duelum here back again with another video. I have received some feedback on my bio walkthrough on 1.6 incursion. So I'm going to do it for mutant and then I'm also going to do it for uh, skill uh, based on the feedback. So this is going to be the mutant video and then skill will come out tomorrow. But yeah, let's get into it guys. All right guys, so starting off node one, uh, this is going to be the team I'm using. So it's going to be Nemesis. Uh, drop on Psylocke for APOC. He doesn't need to be 7-7. Seven, seven. It's, it's just a benefit to have him there. No matter what, you're going to absolutely destroy this. Uh, Magneto is a skirmisher. I've just kept him a skirmisher since the Bifrost fights in Cosmic Crucible. I haven't changed him. And yet it's coming in handy um, as a skirmisher on node two as well. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, coming in here for node one, super straightforward. The uh, goal here is obviously we're going to Magneto. Ult on Kingpin, so you blind the most amount of people, so you make sure you blind the 2099. Here, we want to ult on Cap Sam. Sometimes it pulls off the taunt, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes Dark Beast will pull off the taunt. It's not the biggest problem if it pulls off the taunt or not, because Phylavel still has one, so you're, the next move can always go on her anyway. Um, we're going to ult with Apocalypse here. Um, I like to take out... Kate Bishop because she throws out a lot of blinds and her out of turn damage can be pretty pretty devastating. Score Girl's gonna heal here, but she's not taking any of the buffs off, so the heal isn't really that big of a deal. As you can see, miss, 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 miss. Um, the ability block literally doesn't matter where it goes because no one's gonna take another turn anyway, um, so it literally does not matter. Um, you might want to target Phylavel here to ult to make sure we get a kill, so the rewinds can start popping off. As you can see, all the bleeds, all the energy, all the rewinds, and then APOC can now ult again. This it's it's just APOC ulting over and over and over and over again. It's not it's not anything super tricky or anything like that. And this doesn't matter if you have um, a big, you know, super big APOC like seven seven like I do, or if it's a smaller one. Even if it's a small APOC, he should get energy. Um, so this should work with small APOC as well because he should get energy from uh, bleeds getting applied so he can ult turn one even if he's not empowered so this is this is super straightforward you can start conserving a little bit of cooldowns but again you're putting out so many bleeds that you're just going to get cooldowns no matter what um it it literally doesn't matter make sure you even if you have the t4 on magneto to get the ability energy on spawn make sure you do save a little bit for him because you're not having all five members so you want to make sure he does have a uh, full energy at the beginning because he won't uh, he won't have four Death Seed members to start. So you want to make sure that blind is up turn one. But yeah, that's node one. Let's get to node two. All right, guys, for node two, we're going to be running the same team, except we are going to drop Nemesis and we are going to bring in Psylocke. And Psylocke is level 90 here. She's not here to do damage. She's not here to really do anything, honestly. The only reason we're bringing in Psylocke here is just in case the Magneto does not get the blind on uh, Silver Surfer. Because if not, Silver Surfer will ult turn one and he will kill everybody except it, Apocalypse. Um, so bringing in the Psylocke, make sure you spawn with dodge so that issue does not happen. Um, I always do the blind on the left Silver Samurai because I want to make sure Sharon Carter gets blind. Um, after that, we don't need to worry about any of this clump here. You see Silver Surfer actually got the blind. I end up taking the taunt off of this um, <clears throat> Silver Samurai. If it ends up going off, it might, it may not. It's not a big deal if it doesn't, honestly. Uh, this is the move that would kill if you don't have Psylocke dodges or if he didn't get the blind. But the insurance policy is the Psylocke dodges. We don't take that chance. As you can see, Apocalypse ults again. And it's just... It's just a, uh, it's just, it's just over. Like that's it. It's just over. Um, it doesn't really matter who you go for here. I usually go for Silver Surfer just because he's big and he does things. Um, again, the ability block doesn't really matter because they're really not going to take another turn here. Um, I usually do rewind the Viv just to make sure she doesn't uh, do her little blind using her ult flipping things even though she's not going to flip anything because of trauma but putting out blinds is kind of annoying and then you see apoc just just smacks everybody again it's again it's just the apoc show it's just apoc over and over and over again <clears throat> um and then here we can use the special because we're gonna get all the abilities back anyway so it's not that big of a deal because of all the bleeds going out um and then here I guess I can put a special out. It doesn't really matter. Again, I want to save cooldowns a little bit on him um, because I want to make sure he spawns with uh, the ultimate. 
because if he doesn't, it could be a little problematic. Um, but as you can see here, this is just, and again, Apocalypse is going once again. I am going to save this this time, um, just in case, because I want to make sure he has ult up turn one for the boss node. Um, but you can see the rewinds, just make sure no one takes a turn ever. Um, Psylocke cooldowns don't matter because we're not using Psylocke on the next node. And my game just crashed. That's fun. Well, that's an exciting time. Yeah, thanks. I fully appreciate it. But this is the end of node two. I'll get into the boss node after this. All right, guys, coming in for boss node. Now we are going to switch out Psylocke once again for Nemesis. Uh, take in Nemesis here. We just don't need the dodges because we don't have the issue of, you know, a Silver Surfer one-shotting our entire team. Uh, but this node is super easy as well. This is uh, this is just as much of a cakewalk as it is in node one and node two. Just big health, that's all. Nothing too crazy about this. Um, doesn't matter who you target here, here, or here. Really doesn't matter at all. Um, just make sure you have the ulti up. Um, this, it almost always gets resisted, so I don't see an issue coming from the, the Zemo doing something, honestly. I've never had an issue with that. Um, we're going to ult here, get all the bleeds up and everything like that. <clears throat> Striker attack there and a pot goes boom. Okay. And the one I have to take out is going to be Bishop happens like that. If you can try to take out beast, beast's a good choice to take out. So he doesn't cleanse all that stuff. Speaking of taking out beast, I am going to special on beast so i get the um the double tap on him and then here little interesting i'm actually going to clone their dark beast so i have extra bleeds and such going out <clears throat> and then i'm going to ability block magneto because he could put out blinds and put us pull us all together and we don't want that that's also going to do a bunch of damage and turn meter rewinds and all that good jazz that we love. So you see, nobody has turn meter right now. Our next targets are going to be, obviously, we have to go for the Cap Sam. Ability block lands. Sometimes it doesn't. Doesn't really matter. They're going to get rewind to hell anyway. Um, the goals here are going to be taking out Dazzler, because, Dazzler and Emma because you don't want Dazzler or Emma to cleanse. Um, I'm going to take out Dazzler first because she gets buffs uh, depending on how many debuffs are applied to her teammates. I think it may be only unlimited X-Men, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but always good to take her out first. And then you can see people are just getting rewound to hell here. Um, we can ulti again here with Nemesis because we have so much energy coming out. We want to take out Emma next just because Emma can do the cleanse that we don't, need, that we don't want for sure. Um, you can see we're completely ignoring Peggy because it literally just doesn't matter. Peggy's just not going to take a turn. Uh, I see Emma's dead. I could have targeted somebody else for the Dark Beast assist to get a little bit better, but it doesn't really matter. Do a special here. Refresh the offense up. Get a little bit more damage. Also gives counters. Um, as you can see, everybody dying. I'm looking for a vulnerable ulti. Found a vulnerable on cap. He should be dead. He's not. Uh, we'll take out the highest health person because just make this quicker. He's dead now. As you can see, everybody has zero turn meter, so no one's going to be taking a turn, and it doesn't matter. It's over now. It's just over. It's just, it, it, this is cake. It does not matter the size of your apocalypse, even if it's an unempowered apocalypse. I used apocalypse here because I figured everybody was going to have an apocalypse if we push in 1.6. Um, apocalypse makes this absolutely trivial. But it do, he doesn't have to be 7-7 seven, seven like mine. I was doing this at 7-5, seven, 7-4. Seven, uh, it just goes quicker because Apocalypse just smacks everybody just like that. But yeah, that's uh, that's Mutant 1.6. I will be making skill as well. Um, but yeah, that's that's my that's my way of doing Mutant 1.6. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this guy is, helps you guys get through 1.6 a little bit easier. We've done Bio first, then Mutant. Next up will be Skill. And I don't think I'm going to need to do the other ones because uh, Tech and Mystic are pretty easy. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Once again, this has been Duelum. Later, y'all.